A group of Venezuelan opposition deputies erupted into a closed session of foreign ministers at the OAS summit. Angry that not enough members were prepared to call for action against Venezuela's government. By just a few votes cast by accomplices of the Maduro narco dictatorship, important decisions were not made, even as more Venezuelans were being killed on the streets. Earlier, Costa Rica's former president had made a special appearance to appeal to OAS foreign ministers to intervene. In Venezuela, there's been a clear and total rupture of the constitutional order, with more than 70 people killed on the streets. The supreme body of the Organization of American States cannot refrain from taking a stand, and it should not leave this room until it does. But in the end, a handful of mainly Caribbean nations that depend on Venezuela for cheap oil could not be persuaded to sign a harsh draft resolution. And the message uh, to the um, Maduro uh, government uh, is um, that the organization, which is the only one that could uh, exercise some effective pressure on the government of Venezuela, is... Um, is incapable to uh, stand up for these fundamental values. The outcome was a victory of sorts for Venezuela's foreign minister, Delcy Rodriguez, who announced she is resigning to become a candidate in controversial constituent assembly elections, described by opponents as a ruse for consolidating a dictatorship. For those who were hoping for action from the OAS, the summit was more than a disappointment. It was seen as evidence that the oldest and largest multilateral organization of the Americas is in danger of becoming irrelevant because it can't guarantee respect for its own democratic charter. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Cancun.